Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about different button controls found on an electric pallet jack handle. These buttons allow the operator to maneuver the pallet jack with ease and efficiency. We will cover the functions and features of each button, as well as some layout variations you may encounter depending on the model of your electric pallet jack. Let's start with the buttons you'll use most frequently, the ones right at your fingertips on the front of the handle. You'll find three buttons at the front. Horn or alarm button. Lifting and lowering buttons. Speed control buttons for forward and reverse movements. This may also alternatively be pronounced as rotary knobs and butterfly thumb speed control direction control buttons. Now, let's discuss their core functionalities. The horn button or alarm is usually located at the center. This button is used to alert other people or vehicles in your vicinity. You should press this button whenever you need to warn someone or something of your presence, especially in crowded or noisy environments. The horn button or alarm may produce a loud beep, similar to a car horn. This is especially useful when working in crowded warehouses or distribution centers. Next, we have lift and lower buttons. These buttons control the vertical movement of the pallet jack forks. The lift button raises the forks, allowing you to elevate your load, while the lower button, as the name suggests, lowers the forks back down. The third button we have at the front of the control handle is the speed control button. These buttons are located on either side of the handle, near the top. Speed control buttons offer variable speed options for both forward and reverse motions. Depending on the model, these buttons can vary in design, with some models featuring rotary knobs or butterfly thumbs, providing an intuitive and ergonomic way to control the speed. Pressing the forward button will move your electric pallet jack forward, and pressing the reverse button will move your electric pallet jack backward. You should adjust the pressure that you apply on these buttons to control the speed of your electric pallet jack. The more pressure you apply, the faster your electric pallet jack will move. The less pressure you apply, the more your electric pallet jack will move slower. Moving on to the back of the electric pallet jack handle, we have the turtle speed button. The turtle speed button is located at the back of the handle, usually in the center. This button activates a slow speed mode for your electric pallet jack. You should press this button when maneuvering your electric pallet jack in tight spaces or around obstacles such as corners, doors, or racks. It is also helpful while operating in areas with pedestrian traffic. The turtle speed button may have a turtle icon or a snail icon, depending on the model of your electric pallet jack. On top of the handle, you may find an emergency reverse button or an anti-collision button. This button is designed to quickly reverse the direction of the electric pallet jack in case of emergencies or to avoid collisions. The emergency reverse button or anti-collision button will be red in color. Simply pressing and holding the emergency reverse button will cause the pallet jack to instantly halt its movement, helping to prevent accidents and minimize damages. In addition to the main button controls, electric pallet jacks may also feature other controls such as a tilt control for adjusting the angle of the forks, a dead man switch that requires continuous pressure to operate, and battery level indicators to monitor the charge status of the pallet jack. It's important to note that the layout and functionality of button controls may vary across different electric pallet jack models. Manufacturers often design their controls based on the specific needs of different industries or user preferences. Some models may have additional features or different button placements, but the fundamental functionality remains the same. Always refer to the user manual provided by the manufacturer for specific instructions and guidance. And there you have a detailed overview of the button controls found on electric pallet jacks. We hope that this video has helped you understand how to use the button controls on the handle of your electric pallet jack. Remember, safety should always be a top priority when operating any industrial equipment. These controls are essential for operating your electric pallet jack safely and efficiently. Besides, if you notice any problems with your electric pallet jack handle, such as broken buttons, loose wires, or faulty functions, you should stop using your electric pallet jack immediately and contact Pallet Jackson for assistance. We can help you diagnose and fix any issues with your electric pallet jack handle or provide you with a replacement if needed. 
We have a wide range of high quality and affordable electric pallet jack handles for different models and brands. You can visit our website or call us at 832-239-5393 to order yours today. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video informative, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more in-depth technical explorations. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, leave a comment below. See you next time.